Hi guys! Today I want to talk to you about my favorites from December 2013. It's 2014. That is so weird. Um, I have just a couple of hair items and I have a lot of makeup items and um, some shower stuff as well. So, <clears throat> sorry guys. I said in my other video recorded today I'm kind of sick so if my voice comes and goes, please forgive. Um, yeah, so let's start with hair. Just two items. And the first thing I want to talk about is this bonnet. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you've seen me in this bonnet. I love it. It's black with polka dots. I think it's called like Pois Roses or something like that um, on prettyantoinette.com. I'll leave the exact website below because I'm not really sure. But it looks like this on just so you get a feel for how large it is. So I'll be able to use this for a while because my hair is not in all hair yet. This is a bonnet. This was, I think this retails for $26. I actually just ordered another one um, because I do, I wash my silks every two weeks and, but I like to change this every week. So I got another one. Um, at first the elastic was a little bit tight for me, but after my first wash, just like the owner said, like I wrote to her and I was like, well, I actually find the little, um, I actually find the elastic a little bit uncomfortable. Um, what's the elastic like on the sleep caps? Because she has sleep caps that are more expensive and then she has bonnets. And she was like, well, the, the, it's a stretchy, thicker, you know, kind of like, um, stretchy silk tie on the sleep caps. I'm sorry to hear that you are uncomfortable with the elastic. It should loosen up with the first wash, but I know you don't care about that right now. And I'm like... Oh no, that's actually really good to know. Thank you so much. Like, I can tell these are really high quality. Um, and the elastic is, like, fully encased in silk. So the elastic doesn't actually touch your skin. But it just was... I have a big old head. And it was, like, making a little indentation line after I slept. And it was just a little uncomfortable. It's totally comfortable now. After the first wash, you're supposed to hand wash them. So I'm going to put the disclaimer out there. But I don't hand wash anything. I throw this in the machine. And it it's held up well to being thrown into the machine. I think I noticed, like, one little like um I can't even find it anymore like one little area where the stitching came up a little bit but I don't know it's totally intact so it seems to be holding up well to being washed even though it says it's not supposed to be um silk usually is not supposed to be thrown into the machine but I said I would make a video on how I do it if you guys want to see that just let me know I use Woolite and I use garment bags and I throw them in the machine on the delicate cycle Life's too short to hand wash items. I saw that on a forum and I was like, word, how do I wash these things? But anyway, um, yeah, I really love this. And I love that it's polka dotted. Like, my best friend was kind of making fun of me. She was like, you can go outside like that? Because I covered up my hair after I used curl formers because it was raining when she came for my birthday. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to... Um, go outside like this and she was like well I mean I've gone outside with a bonnet on my head but mine's black it's not like black and polka dotted but I love the polka dots because it makes it really obvious like in my hamper where this is because I have a lot of black and dark clothes and it can be frustrating when you can't find your bonnet and you're ready to go to bed this stands out because it has polka dots so I ordered another one of the exact same thing now what I really want to talk about normally I finger detangle like I finger detangle in the shower I never bring these into the shower but when I get out of the shower I will detangle with combs for my curl former sets. And I have to talk to you guys about the Hercules Sageman, these two combs from them. One is, okay, this is the 703WW, it says, but on this side it says 581WW. But on hotcombs.net, you can find it under 703WW. And I will finger detangle, then I use this comb, and then the last step I do is to go in with a fine tooth comb, and this is the Hercules Sageman 6450 comb. And these combs are 100% seamless. They have no seam. You will not find a raised seam. So there's nothing to snag your hair and cause it to break. Um, these glide through my hair like no other freaking comb I have ever had. They're amazing to me. I love them. And yeah, they recommend like a three-step combing system where you use like a wide tooth comb, then a medium, and then like smallest. But I just use two. I finger detangle then this, then this. It sounds like a lot, but you just kind of, you know, run through it section by section for your curl formers, and it works really well for me. It's really important to have completely detangled hair for curl former sets, in my opinion. Um, when I don't completely detangle, my hair gets caught all up in the me mechanisms of the process. So um, I really love these, and I got them from hotcombs.net. I also want to say that when I went to order this one, um, 
I put in an order for it and then I got a message that it was out of stock and the customer service rep was like, I'm so sorry, um, I can either cancel the order and refund you or if you want to wait, I'll give you 20% discount for your inconvenience because we should have told you it was out of stock. And I'm like, oh my god, that's such a nice gesture, thank you. I'll just wait, I'll take the 20% off. So she refunded me 20% um, just because I had to wait and when it, got, it didn't even take that long still. And um, I love it, like I love it. I got some other ones that I don't know, I, I couldn't tell online, like, I don't know, they're kind of big and stuff, and I don't know, I just, I love this one, so these are the two I actually use, I have others, and maybe, like, when my hair gets longer, I'll use those or something, but these two, like, seriously, I love, if anything happened to them, I would replace them immediately. Um, and also, I love these clips by Hercules Sageman, this is the same brand, I can see some raised seams on this, but they do feel very smooth, and these do not snag my hair. And they just grab a lot of my hair while it's wet and they just hold on really well. I never really use them dry. But when I'm sectioning my hair for curl formers, it's really important that, you know, once you section your hair, you want it to stay out of the way. And I had been looking for these clips I bought back when I first big chopped. And I found them the other day, the Con Air, just regular like metal duckbill clips. But when my hair is wet, I just think like this, it's too much slickness and it kind of like doesn't stay in place that well. These always stay in place really well, but it also, they look kind of intimidating, but it doesn't rip my hair out or anything, and it's um, got a nice big grip on the end, so when it's in my hair and I'm ready to take it out, it's really easy to find and just take it out, and I really, I'm just loving the Hercules Sageman brand, so I got the, all those things from hotcombs.net. Um, okay, so let's move into makeup. I wanna talk about these two pressed powders I got. So when I was in New York for Thanksgiving, I went with my best friend to the Nars Boutique and I picked up Mountain. And that looks like this. This is the Nars Pressed Powder in Mountain. And I got home and I tried it over my Nars Tinted Moisturizer. I tried it over Tahoe in the store. Um, and I got home and tried it over my Nars TM. And I feel like I went to Sephora.com and I ordered Beach. Because I feel like Beach goes over my NARS tinted moisturizer better. I'm not wearing either one right now, just so you guys know. But this is Beach and this is Mountain. Um, Beach, like online, I could only find like literally white people <laughs> using Beach. So that was a little weird to me because, uh, yeah, I don't know. Like sort of like tanned white women were using this and I just wasn't sure and then like, you know, people in my complexion or way darker were using Mountain. And I think it's just because these are very sheer products. Now, sometimes Beach over my Tahoe Nars Sheer Glow can look a little ashy. But Beach always looks really nice over the Cuba Tinted Moisturizer. I still have to try Mountain over the foundation. But anyway, I like both of these. I think Mountain will be a little better for summer. And Beach is better for winter. But if I had to choose one, it would probably be Mountain because I just can't stand to look ashy. But I was just curious about um, Beach, and I think I was putting a Sephora order, and I decided to just get it because, um, yeah, I don't know. But something about this, like when I put it over my NARS TM, it makes it look like foundation. In fact, my if you look at like the main picture where I did my first curl former set, and my main picture like on YouTube and on Instagram and stuff, I was wearing my NARS Tinted Moisturizer with Beach over it, and it look makes it look like foundation I don't know why it's like magic and they work really well together and the color that they create is like perfect so I don't know that's pretty cool I love NARS I just love NARS so anyway um speaking of NARS my next favorite is the pump to NARS Sheer Glow so with my VIB coupon in November I re-upped on my NARS Sheer Glow foundation in Tahoe but I never put a pump on my um Sheer Glow before um I had it on my sheer matte, but I never bought it for sheer glow. But it's just like a whole different freaking experience having a pump on NARS sheer glow because I think it's such a beautiful foundation and I feel like it should come with the pump and it doesn't. You can buy the pump from Nordstrom.com. I think Nordstrom was out of stock of it and I bought it from Barney's. Both of those websites, like Nordstrom always has free shipping on any size order. And Barney's, I don't know if Barney's always does it, but they do it a lot. And the pump goes for like six bucks. It's already a pricier foundation. It's like 44 bucks, So I feel like it should definitely include the pump. But since it doesn't, I will pay for it. 
And um, it's a little annoying too that Sephora doesn't sell the pump, but they don't. So Nars or um, Nordstrom or Barney's has it. Or the, I think Nars.com, I haven't been able to find it on the official Nars site lately. But yeah, Barney's and Nordstrom sell the pump for six bucks, free shipping usually. Um, and it just, I just recommend it <laughs> so that you don't contaminate your supply. Um, oh, oh my gosh, I'm so in love with this, guys. I am in love with Benefit What's Up. I never even thought I would like a highlighter. Like, I'm not wearing it now, but I, maybe I'll just put it on. So I'll show you what it looks like. It looks like this. I got this as my Sephora birthday gift, so I hope you guys picked that up last year. Um, my birthday's late in the year, so I just got this. But I just, like, swipe a little bit right there. I never thought I would like highlighters because I kind of felt like my cheekbones were, like, prominent enough. But, um, I don't know. Well, I've never put this over my TM, which I'm wearing right now, but I usually put this over foundation when I wear a foundation on the weekends. And I always just blend it out with my finger lightly. And I don't know, it's just really pretty. Like I always thought it wouldn't show up or like I've seen like people so much lighter than me use this and I thought maybe it would be like ashy or something. But it's beautiful. I love that it's a cream. It blends in really nicely. I feel like, I don't know, the staying powder power is really good because it's not just a powder. And I'm just totally impressed with that. It was my birthday gift. Sephora actually didn't leave, accidentally gave me a whole second one and I'm so happy. But when I do run out of the two that I have, the two little sample ones, I'm totally picking up the full size. Um, and it also came with a Their Real mascara sample, but that's, I don't really like. A lot of people love that mascara, but I'm just going to stick to my Chanel one. But I love that they included that What's Up because I don't think I ever would have tried it. And my best friend was telling me she really likes it. But she likes highlighters and stuff, and I don't. So I was like, oh, okay. But when I tried it for myself, I was like, mm, yeah, I really like it. So benefit what's up. Um, also, speaking of highlighters, I've tried this on my face, but this does amazingly well under my brow. I have it under my brow bone right now. Um, and this is, I have like no eyeshadow on, but I love just putting this on as highlighter, even if I don't wear eyeshadow. This is the L'Oreal magic lumi highlighter and i have the shade medium um there are four shades and i got medium light seemed too light and then there's like light fair medium and deep or something like that and deep seemed it was like darker than a concealer i would use so it would not have been a highlighter for me so and i heard that you know people said it was like too orangey for women of color and stuff i don't know but anyway i freaking love this and i just like put a little right here and then I just blend with my finger and it just makes my brows pop and it's really easy to use. It has this click up packaging. The packaging is really pretty. You know, people are saying this is supposed to be a dupe for the YSL Touche Claw. Please forgive me if I butchered that name, but I have never taken a French class in my life. But I think you guys know what I'm talking about, that, that highlighter pen by YSL. Um, people are saying this is supposed to be a dupe for that. So again, my shade is medium and I would suggest that you try this out. Um, I like it best as a brow bone highlighter and I stick to the Benefit Watts up for my cheekbones. Um, but it's really nice and... Sorry. I heard this sound. I think it was like someone breaks outside but I thought it was my dog crying. Kyo? Oh no, it's, it's breaks outside. Okay, so anyway, I really like this. I really, really like this. I got it from Target. It was kind of pricey. I think it was like $13.99 or something like that. But... I do like it. Um, I also picked up, I picked up a version by Maybelline. It's the Dream Lume, Dream Lumi. Oh God, Dream Lumi Touch Highlighting Concealer. And this one I actually use. The one time I tried it, I preferred this not as um, a highlighter. Like it didn't really do any highlighting for me. I preferred it as um, un like to cover my under eye circles. So this isn't really a favorite because I haven't used it enough, but just letting you guys know, I tried them both. And as a highlighter on my skin tone and stuff, I prefer the um, Dream, the Magic Lumi one. But the Dream Lumi by Maybelline, I have that in the shade Honey. And um, it works okay under my eyes. It's, it's like that highlighted look under the eyes. It's not like the really natural look. But I don't know, like my husband... 
switched to the night shift and like none of my concealers were really working well enough under my eye because I think I just needed that really highlighted effect to cover up my dark circles because I wasn't used to the sleeping schedule yet. Um, yeah, but anyway, this one's okay. Um, but for a highlighter, for, you know, kind of what it's intended to do, this one's like amazing. Um, all right, let's see. So yeah, the, the Maybelline one's kind of like a little runner up. But, um, oh, I tried this Clarins eye cream. This was recommended by Tanya Burr. And every time I try something by her, I really, really like it. Like, I tried the um, Tom, Board, Tom Ford Brow Sculptor because of her. And you guys know I love that. Well, I tried this Clarins Eye Contour Balm. This is actually available on Sephora. I don't think, like, the whole Clarins line is available on Sephora. But this, it, this one is. And I just really like this. I actually have the... Um, Clarisonic Opal and I usually use this with that and it's it's like it's pretty thin and I like to use thinner things with the Clarisonic Opal so that the tool doesn't tug at my eyes. Um, I used to use this one by Clarence, the Super Restorative Total Eye Concentrate and I started running out and I actually bought this one because Tanya Burr had like recommended a Clarence eye cream while she was doing like Miss Glamorazzi's makeup one time but she didn't mention specifically which one it was. And I looked up reviews and then I tried this one. But it turns out, I think I prefer this one and it's actually cheaper. It's cheaper straight up and it's cheaper per ounce. Actually, yeah, this has 0.7 ounces. This has more than this one. And this one's like 82 bucks and this one's like 35, I want to say. So I really like this, the Clarins Eye Contour Balm. And I've used it with just my finger, but I usually use it with my Clarisonic Opal. And... It doesn't even have silicones, which is weird, because I remember this one having silicones, and silicones are known to, like, you know, fill in, like, on your skin, like, fine lines and stuff. Like, if you think about the Smashbox primer, I think that's very heavy in silicones, and that's known to kind of just even things out. But even though this one doesn't have silicones listed in the ingredients, I feel like this one has a more smoothing effect on my eye. I don't know. I just really am digging this. I'm digging this eye cream. Um, what else? Oh, I only have two things left, finally, because this video is getting long. The, the Philosophy Shower Gel in Mimosa. Oh, this thing smells seriously like fresh squeezed orange juice. Like fresh squeezed orange juice. It smells so freaking good. I had a really bad first impression of Philosophy Shower Gels. Um, Sephora gave out that birthday cake one a few years ago, and... I don't know, I feel like I got a bad one or something. Like, my best friend loved it, and I didn't like it at all. And then she, like, we were in Sephora the other day together, and she smelled it, and she was like, ooh, mine didn't smell like this. I was like, mine did? Like, what the heck? And it, I don't know. I feel like I either got a bad one, or I don't know if the scent changes over time. I don't know what it was, but it just didn't smell as good as I expected it to. But this smells amazing, and I've smelled quite a few other scents that I want to try from them that smell amazing. I'm going to try different ones for a while every time I run out, but this will always be on my, like, you know, staple shower things list in my head. I don't actually have one anywhere yet, but this will always be a favorite of mine because it smells freaking amazing. It smells so freaking good. And you only have to use a little bit and it goes a long way. And it's one of the few things that my exfoliating shower gloves, gloves don't eat up. So, yeah, it, a little goes a long way. And um, the bottle's pretty big. It's like 16 ounces. Um, I feel like I would be amiss if I didn't mention that I don't feel like people should use something like this that's very heavy in fragrance all over their body. Now, I'll say this scent doesn't linger on my skin. Once I get out of the shower, even if I try, I can't really smell it. But in the shower, as I'm soaping up, it just smells amazing. It's like aromatherapy. I love it. It smells so good. Um, the fragrance is fairly high on the list, though. Even though it doesn't linger and linger, there's, like, all these lines of ingredients, and fragrance is way up here in the second line. So that's kind of a lot of fragrance. Um, and I try in sensitive areas not to use anything with fragrance like this. I never really wanted to discuss this because I don't know if you guys... It kind of grosses me out when people talk about this, but come on, we're girls. We need to, you know, address certain things. So I used to use um, Summer's Eve for, you know, the sensitive areas of my body. Um, but I went to the doctor and I was just asking her, like, what she recommends that I use because I don't like that this has both fragrance and dyes in it. Like, it has both fragrance and coloring. And I just feel like 
something for that area should be, be like just as gentle as possible. And she told me people who use things like this or, um, you know, all the things that are specially formulated for those areas, ironically, that those people always seem to have the most problems and like irritation. So she recommended that I try using baby shampoo. So this is actually my second bottle. I just finished a bottle. I picked up the Johnson's Baby Naturals Head to Toe Wash and it says that it's 97% naturally derived, gently cleanses with a rich lather with no parabens and no dyes. It does have some fragrance but it's like some kind of plant derived fragrance and it's low in the ingredients list. These are the ingredients and it tells you where things are derived from. And I used up a whole one already. It has a pump. The packaging is really annoying to get into. You'll know what I mean if you get it. Um, but once you get into it, um, the packaging is great. The pump and stuff it just has a really strong like plastic uh, protection seal on it. Ugh. But anyway, I used a whole one already. And what I do is I take like a pump. And if you go like this for just a couple of seconds, it lathers really nicely. But it's very gentle and um, I like it a lot better than... Um, the Summer's Eve scent that I used, the Summer's Eve one that I used for a long time, I used, this is the only, um, other, like, you know, thing I've tried. Um, I always used the Summer's Eve Delicate Blossom scent before, but now, I don't know, I'm not gonna be finishing those, because I just don't like that it has dyes and fragrance, that's weird to me. Um, and I feel like if something can be used on babies, then, you know it's probably good enough for women to use. So I just wanted to let you guys know that this exists in case you've been looking for something gentle to use there. Um, I really like this. I really, really like this. So that's another one of my favorites. And that's it, guys. I know that was a lot of stuff. I will leave all of the product names below. And um, Happy New Year, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this leave me any questions or comments below and i'll be happy to hear from you and reply and that's about it i better wrap this up thank you so much for watching and until next time bye